Welcome back to Breakfast Television. Good morning, good morning. I'm Meredith Shaw, and we are past the halfway mark now of Veganuary, a month that challenges us to eat more vegan meals. So joining us this morning is New York Times bestselling cookbook author Carly Bodrug with plant-based meals you can make for breakfast, for lunch, and for dinner. Welcome to the show. Thank you so much for having me. I'm thrilled to be here. Well, and you're wearing plant green. So yes, this is, <laughs> I'm we in are, my green era. We, we are living our Veganuary best life. And this is a tough thing for most people to sort of incorporate. You know, we've heard about it, but how do we do it? You have sort of a number one tip on how people can get more plant-based in their lives. Yeah, my number one tip for anybody who wants to endure a plant-based lifestyle <laughs> is to take endure. <laughs> First of all, maybe we don't use the word endure. That's hilarious. Yes. One uh -huh. step at a time. One step at a time. It's okay. a marathon, not a race. You don't have to be perfect. And even introducing just one plant-based meal into your life per day can be a huge thing for your health the planet and the animals. So I just say, start slow. Yeah, Sid says he's gonna have a leaf of basil today. Oh, that's perfect, his, that's his there beginning. we go. <laughs> yeah, but we're gonna lead us through a, a whole day, which I think is so great. So we're starting at breakfast. Maybe you're, you know, watching us making breakfast right now. What can we do to make it plant-based? Yes, so I like to call this my Snickers baked oatmeal. And this is just such a delicious meal prep friendly recipe. Perfect way to start the day because- Snickers? Yes, yeah, Snickers. Yes, Carly. It has your complex carbohydrates with your oats. It has okay. dates for energy, flaxseed, which is one of my favorite plant-based ingredients for your some? omegas. Oh yes, I please try some. do. Oh, that's good. I like that texture already. Yeah, okay. and most importantly, it's so delicious. Mm. <laughs> Come on. Well, I'm glad you like it. Oh, I love it's that. It's one of my favorites. That is, this is a nut butter? Yes, mm -hmm. so we use peanut butter, mm. oats, dates, chocolate chip, and flax meal. Mix it all up, it comes together. Literally, you can make it in this dish, yeah. pop it in the oven, and 40 minutes later, you've got a delicious meal for the week. So you can eat this Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. This and you're is good really to go. good. And a nice protein hit too, yeah. because that's always sort of the fear when you're going plant based like, how do I get my protein? So that's great. I love that. Okay, breakfast done. Lunch time. Let's do it. So I grew up eating mac and cheese, and I remember when I first went vegan, I was like, what am I going to do? The thing people always ask me is, how can you live without cheese? Yeah. Well, I've got some good news for you. You can make a delicious and really healthy cheese sauce out of plants. So believe it or not, this amazing cheese sauce, which you can pour over the macaroni right there, oh, I can. Okay. is yeah. made of onion, bell pepper, carrot, oh, butternut squash, cauliflower, and then okay. it's Ooh. baked <laughs> wow. baked in the oven, and then we blend it up with the secret ingredient, nutritional yeast, which okay. is this cheesy yeast that's high in protein and B12. <laughs> I know. Carly. Cheesy. That's not cheese. It's not cheese. That tastes like cheese. In fact, it's plant. That tastes like cheese. <laughs> Yeah, and it's look so good and yummy and gushy and cheesy and all the things you want. <laughs> I might have put too much sauce on, sorry. Um, okay, that's delicious. Yes. So nutritional yeast, that's a big one. It's the, to it's have the key. In your life, and we've got about a minute left and I wanna have dinner now, it's a tofu. Tofu. People are always afraid of tofu, and my biggest tip for anybody who is a little bit weary of tofu is to sauce it up. It's just, you okay. can treat it just like basically chicken. So I love to air fry mine with a little bit of cornstarch to make it crispy. That air and fryer then, is so key. Yes, and then you sauce it up. So the sauces are always key, and this is my famous sweet and sour sauce. I think this recipe has over 55 star reviews on my no way. blog. Viral. And, yeah, and it's the one I always tell people to make if they're worried about tofu. Delicious. And all of these recipes can be found at breakfasttelevision.ca, but they can also be found in your cookbook. You've got a new one coming out in April. Yes, Plant You Scrappy Cooking. It's a fully zero waste plant-based cookbook. It has over 150 easy plant-based recipes. This is so good. I can't believe, sorry, I can't believe I'm saying I can't believe this is so good because of course it's good, but this is so good. I, sorry. What's so lovely about it is all that flavor. Yes, exactly. And that texture, a little bit of crispiness. You gotta flavor your tofu. Carly, we're going plant-based and we love it. Okay, Plant You, congratulations on the book. Thank you Thank so much. Thank you for much. being with us here at Breakfast.